boy. Remember me? I'm back. You know I was gone for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I had to do the music thing. I know you know how that goes. But I'm back. I'm all yours. Listen. Now I've been busy on the road, on tour, doing shows galore. Got you waking into some. Grimy, grimy, grimy. You know the business, y'all. It's going down. Going I got down. my boy over here, Johnny J. What in up, y'all? One thing I gotta say before we start this off, you got to know who my man is. He is one of the number one producers on the West Coast, if not as good, if not as better, just the same as Dr. Dre, but he's even more behind the scenes, y'all. He gets with the grimy business, if you know what I mean. Johnny J, my man right here, that produce, exactly. produce some of the biggest artists in the world, man. Namely, Tupac Shakur. That's man. right, Tupac Shakur, man. Over 150 production credits. That's real. That's incredible. Man, major work done, major work. I got to say, man, it is a pleasure to have you here. And I'm happy to be here. Um, now, what are you doing out here in the Dago Streets? That's what I, I want to know. Man, supporting my boy Jerry Heller, man, on, on a wonderful book that, man, he released. And I'm just, you know, here to support that. And uh, we got a major situation going down. Me, Jerry Heller, my boy Pablito. We're doing our thing, man. We got a, a nice squad together that we're mounting up. And we want to bring this West Coast thing back and, and, and resurrect it, man. Because it's been a really, you know, sad situation that it's just in a slump. The music business in general is in a slump. So we want to just bring that back and elevate the game, man, and clean this game back up and bring music to the forefront again instead of that corny, fake, you know, BS that everybody's hearing. Who are some of the artists that you have knocking the boots on the first debut, the first blast off was an artist by the name of Candyman. That was a song called Knockin' Boots that I did. That was one of the biggest hits in the 90s. I don't know if y'all remember that with the ooh, boy, I love you so. Never, ever, ever. That was the, that was the cut right there. We use Tonight is Tonight, Betty, right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He knows the music. Plain and simple. It's old school. But man, we, we set it off with Candyman, Knockin' Boots, and that was on Epic Records, and that blasted Johnny J off and let people know, here's Johnny J. How did you end up meeting Tupac? How did that come Beautiful about? question. They need to know that. I'm going to tell y'all like this. I was working on an uh, underground album by the, uh, by the name of Evil Mind Gangsters with Big Psych. Okay. Psych is from the group Thug Life. Came together with Tupac. I'm working on Big Psych, man. Pac hears this, uh, this underground album. Psych is, uh, Pac goes wild and crazy. Like, I need to meet the dude who did your beats. Psych gives me this call like Tupac wants to meet you. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, what happened? Heart be fast. I'm just like, yeah, numbers. okay. I mean, I believe Sykes. Sykes ain't no, you know, ain't no lie, ain't no fool. He like, Johnny J, man, he wants to talk to you, homie. So uh, let's go to the studio and get you over there so you can get your ammunition ready and bring it and bring it. And he had just finished Poetic Justice at the time. Just, he just rapped. Just rapped with Janet Jackson. And uh, I'm walking in the room, man, at a studio called Echo Sound, which was near Glendale, kind of like L.A. Glendale area. And man, Pac said, hey, man, what you got for me? And I just I mounted up the drum machine, SB-1200. Loaded up the disc and popped them beats in. So back then there was no CD. Man, no, I didn't have no CDs. <laughs> I had no CDs, man. <laughs> man, I had a handful of disc, That's which right. was computer disc. Man, loaded up that drum machine. Man, I'm gonna tell you, magical hits like "Quad a Little Liquor" jumped off. Death around the corner. We cut nine songs in three days. Our first day meeting, we was just cracking, just okay, going. Okay, okay, okay. So did he already have lyrics done? Yeah, he had songs, or did he just? I'm gonna Spontaneous dude, right on the spot. As soon as I dumped the track, Pac started writing to the track. He immediately, right, right, just right away. I mean, verses went down in no time. I can tell y'all, song took no longer than 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. How did you end up meeting Jerry Heller? Oh, and, and explain man. to him who Jerry is. Oh, Jerry, Jerry Heller, man, the man, the, 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 the legacy, man, behind the ruthless setup, homie, with Easy e N-W-A. That's what, man, the godfather and then some, man, just a, a serious, serious, realistic businessman who is very intelligent, a very beautiful person who knows what he's doing and knows what he's talking about. And for the negative energy that comes his way, man, people need to wake up and realize the man took care of business. So understand both sides of the story before you judge, you know, Jerry Heller. Coward dies a thousand deaths. A soldier dies but once. We have a networking party, the Grimy Rec Show networking party. Yeah. December the 10th. 
You're gonna be there. I will be there. You need me there, I'm there. Well, Matt's gonna be there. Not a problem. The producer of Tupac, the producer of Handyman, the producer of Platinum Selling Records, is going to be at the Red Circle downtown San Diego, December the 10th. There it is. Show up, bring your CDs. Bring them. Bring anything you got, promotional material. That's it. Come in there and meet this man. And I mean, when he says bring them, bring them. We go through them CDs, y'all. Right. Don't think they go into a trash can now, unless they whack. If they whack, you know where they go. Now, I know for a fact, man, that you and Jerry are starting a record label. Yes, we are. Okay, now you Correct. guys heard that right here. They are starting a record label. Correct. Brand new. Fresh. One of the most powerful men in the music business today, Jerry who? Heller. And one of the most powerful producers in the music business today, Johnny. Jay. <laughs> you know the business, y'all. We keep it grimy That's over right. here, man. Now, how did you meet Jerry? That goes back, man, where it's, it's kind of crazy, y'all. We've known of each other for years, but we eventually met at an event, man. Everybody's known. We have, yeah, we've known of each other for years. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Let me man? tell you like this. We've known each other for we years. We are personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we cross paths, man. It's kind of weird. We yeah. cross paths through, these, through this industry because when Easy was working on the Ruthless stuff, I was working on Candyman at the same recording studio called Audio Achievements. So uh, we really? always crossed, but we met not long ago. Officially, we physically got to actually shake a hand, hug one another, and lock down some business and make some history happen. He was a big fan of mine. I respected him, loved him to death. Never had a negative vibe about him. I said, man, let's do this. He looked at me, let's do it. And the rest is history, y'all. We locked it down. Not very long ago, we just officially hooked up. And he lost easy, man. I lost Pac. And it was almost as though those two brought me and Jerry together, man. It was the most magical experience I think I've ever felt with somebody like a Jerry Heller and my boy Pablito, man. We just locked up. You guys got some history. That's real. That's real. So what's on the horizon? What else? Man, you guys, I want y'all to understand something out there. I do have a label that is uh, Clockwork Entertainment. That's what a K that I've always had in the works. I always kept it to myself and just had to, you know, get, a, get an artist ready that I was happy with. And the artist that I got coming out on that one is TJ. So that's my rap artist that I want to blast off, y'all. He's from the IE, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just ready to do this, man. And he's a youthful, young, talented, gifted, I mean, very dope, poetic rapper that just blew me away. And I was like, man, I got to touch this dude. It's going down. He followed me since he was a kid, a baby, a little. He's still a kid, but he was following me since he was a baby, man. That is on my MySpace. The MySpace, Johnny J, Johnny J, y'all, J-O-H-N-N-Y, the letter J, and the number one, all right? Johnny J, number one, all right? The number one. Any websites besides mine? You got thuglifearmy.com. That's my that's my, my folks, man. Those are my backers right there. You got uh, Chicano Radio Network, crnlive.com, who are some major, major, you know, supporters of a Johnny J thing, man. Whatever I'm doing, they're right there behind me. We're, we're just like one big, you know, squad, man, one big, beautiful army that's ready to mount this this music up. And I mean every aspect, y'all, from rap to R&B to, like I said, punk, you name it, country, western, the whole nine. And I don't care what color you are, as long as you got some talent and you bringing some real heartfelt feelings to me and we ready to put it down, let's do it. And I'm gonna make it happen. And that's real talk for me. One last question. One rule, remember this, no music first before you even push a keyboard, before you even drop anything on the drum machine. Study the craft, you know, realize what, where music comes from. Understand what a bass guitar is. Understand these different instruments, y'all. Realize that music are these real instruments, not just a computer, because it takes people like us, producers, real heartfelt people who have grown up through these different, different levels of music to know what they're doing. I just want y'all to understand as producers, Understand the fundamentals, please, before you call yourself a producer. And understand the history. Understand all the different artists from different backgrounds, from different levels, who struggled through all these different years of this music game, man, and to where it's at today. Just understand them before you start calling yourself a producer. And just, just think and, and utilize different sounds. Think about acoustic sounds. Stick to the real deal sounds, because I, I do. So all the artificial programming and corny, cheesy, you know, electronic crap, 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Microwavable music is what I call it. It's called microwave music. And there's producers out there. I ain't gonna clown you, but you know who you are with your little cheesy electronic little uh, thrown together one bass line, one little kick and snare. That's not music to me, man. That's 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 just flavor of the month. Yeah. That's real. But that's that's my advice to y'all, man. Just know what you're doing, understand the instruments, and put them blends together, and you'd be surprised what you come with. And just, you know, pay attention to what's going on in the game. Study your business, know what you're about to get yourself into. It'll happen one step at a time. Don't rush yourself. It'll come to you when you least expect it. That's it. Nah. You know? We really appreciate you coming out, exactly. man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's all love. Grimy, I love you, man, for this. For sure. All right, y'all. You know the business. That's real. We got them. What else y'all gonna do? Let's mount this West Coast thing up, though. Man, Let's do it. You know the business. <laughs> Go to myspace.com forward slash grimy, G R I M M I E. And you will be able to watch my boy Johnny right here. This interview, if you want to backtrack anything, study the, the the position that my man is in within the music game, it will definitely benefit you in a real grimy, grimy, grimy style. Grimy, grimy. You know the business, That's y'all. real. All right, y'all. Keep it grimy, grimy, grimy on the Grimy Rex Show, y'all. We out. Grimy Rex.